Hello students, in the today's lecture, I am going to solve a simple problem on deflection of beam by using Castiglano's theorem. Let us now consider a cantilever beam. This is a cantilever beam of length L. which is fixed at end A and free at the end B. Let a concentrated load W is applied at the free end B. And I have material property E and I as a second moment of inertia of cross section of this beam about its neutral axis. So what is given? Length of the beam is given as L. E is the material property that is Engs modulus and capital I is the second moment of area of cross section of this beam about the neutral axis. And we are asked to find out delta B by using Castiglano's theorem. Deflection at the point B by using Castiglano's theorem. Now in order to solve this problem, in order to get a deflection at the point B, I take a section xx at a distance x from end B like this I take a section x x at a distance x from the end B so if I draw free body diagram of this portion This is A and B and here the concentrated load W is applied. This section has length X. Here is the shearing force Vx and the bending moment is Mx. So this will be the free body diagram of this portion of the beam this portion for this shaded portion I have drawn free body diagram here Vx is the shear force and Mx is the bending moment if this beam is in equilibrium and of course it is in equilibrium then every portion of this beam is in equilibrium so now the beam is in equilibrium therefore this portion this free body diagram portion must be in equilibrium. So balancing the moment about the section xx and balancing moment about this section xx moment balance about the section xx I will get summation mx equal to 0 this is capital X denoting the location of the section this is the section capital X so I will get mx plus w into x equals to 0 and therefore mx equal to minus w into x. We know that the strain energy stored in a beam of length L is given by u equal to integration 0 to L 
एम एक्स स्क्वेर बाई टू ई आई इन टू डी एक्स दिस इज द फॉर्मुला दैट वी हैव डिराइव इन द लास्ट लेक्चर यू इक्वल टू इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एल एम एक्स स्क्वेर बाई टू ई आई डी एक्स सो रिप्लेसिंग एम एक्स इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू एल इंटीग्रल जीरो टू एल एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एम एक्स इज माइनस डब्ल्यू इन टू एक्स होल स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाय टू टाइम्स ई आई डी एक्स सो यू इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू एल डब्ल्यू स्क्वेर एक्स स्क्वेर by 2 e i into dx now w is constant e is constant i is constant i can take these quantities outside the integral so i would get w square by 2 e i integral 0 to l x square dx so u is equal to w square by 2 e i and integration of x square is x cube by 3 between the limits 0 to l and by putting the limits i will get W square by two e i into e l cube by three. So this is an expression for strain energy. We have calculated strain energy stored in the entire beam. Now, according to Castiglione's theorem, we have. According to we have according to Castiglione's theorem, we have delta B is equal to do u by do w. that means the partial derivative of strain energy with respect to the force gives us deflection at the point of application of force and the deflection would be in the direction of force so as the force applied is vertical we would get the vertical deflection at the point b so delta b is equal to do by do w of u u is already calculated w square by 2 e i into l cube by 3 so this is the value of capital u that is strain energy and if i take the derivative i would get delta b equal to derivative of w square is 2w divided by 2 ei into l cube by 3 and if i simplify this expression i would get delta b equal to w l cube by 3e i so in this way we have calculated deflection at this point b by using castiglione's theorem and the procedure is very simple let us have a recap over the procedure i have taken a section xx capital xx at a distance x from the point of application of load and considering 
the equilibrium of this portion of the beam in this uh, following diagram here I have drawn free body diagram for this uh, considered element of the beam and mx is the bending moment at the section xx and vx is the shear force at the section xx and balancing the moment about this section xx about this for about this edge moment is balanced and we get mx equal to minus w into x and we know that the strain energy of bending is given by this expression u equal to integral 0 to l mx square by 2 ei dx and replacing mx here is the value of mx we have calculated bending moment at section xx that is integral 0 to l minus wx whole square by 2 ei dx this minus wx is the value of mx and by simplifying this and solving the integral I get capital U equal to w square by 2 ei l cube by 3 this is the strain energy of bending and this strain energy of bending is differentiated with respect to the load w and I got delta b but important thing is that here we have considered strain energy of bending only the strain energy due to shearing force is not taken into account it is because the strain energy due to shearing force is very small in comparison with the strain energy of bending thank you